One, two, three, four. We're okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My name is Ian Stewart and I'm Deputy Commissioner of the Queensland Police Service and I'm also the State Disaster Coordinator. Good morning, everyone. Um, since I last uh, provided information in relation to our preparations for the current weather events that are predicted for the next week, uh, little has changed. Um, the latest uh, advice from the Bureau of Meteorology uh, confirms that uh, Tropical Cyclone Anthony is still approximately 900 kilometres off the coast of Townsville um, and it is still expected to turn towards the Queensland coast uh, sometime today. Uh, the prediction is also that it is uh, due to its slow moving nature that it will not be until Monday morning um, that it will cross the coast and the area at the moment that we're considering is anywhere between basically Harvey Bay and Cooktown. The reason that that is a broader area that we're considering uh, is, to, is to ensure that the preparations of the, both the community and our emergency service personnel are, are adequate uh, for both uh, Tropical Cyclone Anthony and the potential for uh, the formation of a further cyclone that has been uh, named Yassi uh, later in the week. Um, certainly uh, this morning the State Disaster Crisis and Coordination meeting uh, occurred uh, at the Kedron headquarters of Emergency Management Queensland. Uh, that was attended by all of the disaster district coordinators and many of the local district uh, uh, management disaster management groups from uh, Harvey Bay North um, and we are simply checking to make sure that all of their plans are in place to deal with any contingency should these two weather events cross the coast. Uh, whilst some people uh, may be um, concerned that we are asking for this preparation to occur at this early stage, I think that the, um, the potential for these two events is of such a nature that it would be way too late to ask people to undertake the normal preparations sometime next week. We need them to act now uh, and the clear messages are to stock up on essential goods to make sure that they have batteries, that they have a transistor radio, that they have adequate food for a couple of days and drinking water for a couple of days, that they have secured um, uh, any items around their houses or residences that could turn into missiles uh, and that they have uh, made sure that pets and other uh, uh, important issues such as that have been considered uh, should we have these events uh, uh, before us. Um, and again, I must uh, stress that we are asking people from Harvey Bay all the way to Cooktown to start those preparations. We ask them not to panic buy. We don't want panic buying to occur and there is no need for that. Uh, this is just a normal stock up. Of, of essential foodstuffs and uh, batteries, things like that, that they would need to have on hand. Um, we, will, uh, we will closely monitor the advice that is coming from the Bureau of Meteorology and I would encourage all of the public that has access to those websites uh, to do that and also to listen to the media, to you in the media, uh, to make sure that uh, the updates that are provided um, are understood and clearly by them, by the members of the public. Uh, we will also provide updates in media releases should we consider that necessary. Um, I'm happy to take any questions about the preparations that are currently underway. Is there any day one uh, Yassi? Yassi uh, is still a, uh, a very large weather pattern uh, over the area of Fiji. It has not yet formed into a tropical cyclone, um, so officially we can't call it Yassi, but um, certainly it is a very, very large system um, and is very concerning to us in terms of its size and its power. Um, should it come towards Queensland, um, it is an issue that we will have to um, look at very, very carefully in terms of uh, any further preparations, particularly for coastal shipping um, and obviously inundation uh, and local flooding that occurs with these large scale events. Look, I, um, asking people to stock up on essential items and things like that um, uh, for that very large area I think is not unreasonable at this stage. Obviously, as 
uh, both Anthony comes closer and if and if the other weather pattern which could be called Yasi comes comes closer to the coast we will have significant uh, warning time to uh, to narrow down the areas of impact and that's why I'm also asking members of the community to please monitor the media um, and monitor the bomb official uh, bomb website uh, for clear indications of where where those uh, uh, where those landfalls are likely to be. Any concerns about further flooding here at Pompey Park Cyclone? Obviously, it's the last one It is, and um, unfortunately, as we well know, cyclones uh, do bring large amounts of rain uh, with them. Uh, we obviously are concerned that uh, having two cyclones, if that occurs so closely together, uh, will uh, be significant uh, in terms of localised flooding. Uh, we've also seen in the past that cyclones have moved into rain depressions and have moved further inland and caused significant flooding. So it is an area that we will monitor closely. But we are able, through advice from the Bureau of Meteorology, to get a very clear indication of the type of uh, and the volume of rain that will fall. So again, as we get more information, we'll be able to better warn and better advise the community of what to expect. Uh, I don't think it'll be beyond our limits, certainly, but um, it is an issue that we're already considering how we can uh, resupply both resources and assets into those areas. And we take early, early um, um, action to pre-place or pre-deploy specialist assets. For instance, the uh, Queensland Fire and Rescue Authority have already made arrangements to uh, pre-deploy uh, their urban search and rescue and some elements of their swift water rescue uh, experts and their equipment into North Queensland and that's already occurred and that will occur um, tomorrow. Uh, the Queensland Police Service is looking at its uh, air assets and where they will be stationed and in fact we've already made arrangements to uh, change the deployment of our air assets to take into account the, the likelihood of these two events. I th again, you're right in terms of the category, um, but we're a long way out from um, seeing what Yassi uh, will become, and I think we've got to be careful not to panic the community uh, uh, in relation to uh, claims that it could be a Cyclone 5. But you're right about um, uh, being able to shelter. Um, obviously, there are specific evacuation centres that are uh, identified and used because they are um, strengthened, specifically for this type of event. But the, uh, but the majority of the population uh, will shelter in place. In other words, they'll shelter in their own homes. Um, and we ask people to read up on the types of uh, precautions they can take um, during that uh, most critical time when, if the cyclone comes across their particular uh, population centre. It means that um, people can shelter in, in very strong parts of their house, areas like the bathrooms, the toilets, where there are significant walls um, that will help to protect them uh, during that time. So there is a lot of advice in relation to the actions that people can take contained in the official websites and in pamphlets that are available through local government. And we do have the, the uh, I suppose, the, the luck at this stage of knowing about this uh, weather event uh, quite a number of days out, and I'm talking about the one that's the system that's currently over Fiji, we'll be able to monitor that closely and we'll be able to give people better advice as the days go past. How, how often are you looking for the next few days to, to be able to take um, You're probably aware the State Disaster Management Group uh, stood up yesterday and had its first meeting in relation to these events. We're meeting again as the State Disaster Management Group tomorrow. Uh, this morning, as I said, the State Disaster Coordination and Crisis meeting was held and it will be held again tomorrow. And that will be uh, as a needs basis, but it is likely that the, uh, the crisis and coordination meeting will be every day uh, while these events are unfolding and the SDMG will be on a needs basis.
Certainly, this is one of the things that we always look at um, and we are making those inquiries right now. I know that retailers were contacted, large retail groups were contacted yesterday to start considering how they were going to manage their supplies should they be impacted by these two events. OK, if there are no other questions, thank you very much for coming in. I understand that um, uh, we're going to be con considering uh, our need to provide you with uh, stand-up um, media conferences on a needs basis. So we'll let you know should we uh, intend to um, come together with you. Thank, thank you. you. Really appreciate your involvement in this. The media have a very, very uh, strong role to play in making sure the public is well aware of what's occurring. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's it.